Uh, tonight is our Spring Fling Milonga, and we're celebrating spring by having our monthly social Argentine tango dance party, where we get a bunch of people together and we enjoy the evening by dancing to Argentine tango. I think it's a fun activity to do, especially in Edmonton when we have so many months of winter. And we're very, very passionate about tango, and those people that dance Argentine tango, they can understand what we're doing. And actually, we're so studying, studying the tango is just a stepping stone to dancing. This is it. This is the ultimate, the, the, milonga. the milonga itself, the social dance where you get together and you dance. So this is what you study tango for. This is the ultimate, this is the product. Um, we have people of all walks of life. We have people from blue collar workers to construction workers to doctors, engineers, lawyers, you name it. Tango does attract certain type of people, a lot of intellectuals. It is an improvised dance. It's not a dance that you choreograph and learn the steps and just execute. It's a dance that's danced in a moment, just like we're having a conversation. It's very much the same way. They say that uh, you don't find tango, tango finds you. So uh, apparently it doesn't matter which walk of life you come from. If you hear the call of tango, you will respond to it regardless of where you're coming from. But in terms of the type of people we have, we have people of all ages, of all sizes, people that are young, are university students, people that are older, and what makes a really good tango community is having people from all different types. would always be Edmonton and one of the reasons for that is because of Daniel and Vera's music. It is the most beautiful collection, selection of music from Buenos Aires and um, so it is our favorite. Yes. Every Friday and once a month on a Saturday yes. and uh, we have so yeah. many friends here and uh, we dance with each other, we don't just dance with our partners yes. and so um, we have we many wonderful dance partners to yes. dance with. Yes. You lose all your worries for the week, for the day, for the month, and you really focus in subconsciously on true enjoyment. You enjoy the moment, enjoy the connection, you enjoy the music. There's so many things happening at once, but you don't even need to try. Uh, definitely, it's important to have a good mix of men and women. Equal numbers is best because then you're not having lots of people sitting out. And then the music is very important that it's arranged well. Okay, and what's your opinion? Along with that, I'd say dance floor. Quality of a dance floor. And so. dress? Dress, be comfortable. Dress in comfortable clothes. But I mean, you can dance in pretty much anything, I find. If you don't have good music, good partners, and a good dance floor to dance on, then things become very difficult. Okay, and for you? Uh, I think just kind of the energy of the Malanga is, is like, it's an event, you know? So there's that bit of more specialness than just practicing or just dancing on your own, but it has a bit of excitement to it and I think that makes a big difference to the energy of the whole night. For me a good inspiration for Malanga is a nice flowy dress because you know when you're moving around the dance floor your, your dress is going to go with you and it's going to be really elegant and you're going to feel like you're floating on air. And do you have a practice uh, for tango every day? I don't um, but I do practice in my head a lot. Thank you. 